Welcome back to part two of the build, ladies and gentlemen. Um, haven't probably changed much since part one. Haven't really changed much at all, but I have started working on the uh, manifold for the turbo. See, I've got a mandrel bent U-shape there, and then there's gonna be a pipe that comes up, across, up, and then the turbo will sit right there. Got some intercooler piping over here. That's just gonna sit up on there, come down into the intercooler. Got the uh, turbo. And I think Gregory's home. He's been out spraying, so. That's cool. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna grab the turbo manifold out. Right, so I've just taken my a lovely J pipe off. This is obviously what goes under the manifold. What I've realized is I have to smooth it out so it's a bit more level because it curves back up under the manifold. So I'm just gonna cut it down with the nine inch to about there so it's nice and flat. But I still wanna keep a bit of angle going that way because it's gonna have to um, angle out a little bit. So yeah. Safety first, kids. We're gonna use a little boy because I don't have much to do, so I'm just gonna plane that down a little bit and get it nice. Yeah, that'd be right. Instead of having to take that on and off again and keep getting it so it's flat, I'm just gonna cut the angle into this and then I can just fine tune it with a grinder. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that bad boy eats metal for brekkie. All right, let's have a look how it done. Put that piece here. Not bad, not bad. Gonna have to do a little bit of fine tuning though on that to get it to sit quite right. It really needs to angle up like that. All right, so a bit of an update. Uh, here's what I've rigged up so far. I know the welding's not great on it, but what can I say, it's the first time in a long time I've done it. And the, uh, but anyway, so um, yeah, this goes under the manifold. I'll fit it up and show you what it looks like in the car. So here it is in the car. It's just mounting up on the manifold, goes around and up. So now I have to make part that goes out and up to put the turbo onto, which is just chilling over there. So, um, yeah, I'll make that bit up and update you later. Okay, so it's the final update of the day. I'm calling it a night, I think. I got the uh, little bit on here that's going to have the mount for the turbo on. I've still got to cut that out, which will be tomorrow's job because I'll need to use the oxy with Greg Mann's help. Um, so I've just welded this piece of pipe on. I've just tacked everything together and um, tacked this elbow on. Pretty happy with how it's come out, to be honest. I'm pretty stoked on it, so... Um, I just need to get the plate mocked up and tack that on so I can check everything's going to be fine and then she'll be coming off and I'll re-weld it all up, put it in. I might even paint it black, um, put it back in and then we'll start plumbing up the turbo tomorrow, hopefully. So, um, I'll probably put tomorrow in today's, today's, um, video, which will be part two. I think Geordie's gonna come out, so it should be a good day. Righto, so it's the next day on the uh, dual cab build part two. The man Geordie Leach is just uh, making up the mount. Go, Geord. Uh, Pretty good. My drilling was a bit off, so I have to um, have to redo it. Sadly, but uh, uh, job's right. We'll get it sorted. So, uh, Geord, mate, what, just fill the viewers in on what we're doing over here. Uh, we just started uh, getting the exhaust manifold. Sorted. So just uh, drilling 
doing a bit of filing down on here. Right, after, after Ernie's cutting. You better show him the uh, job we've done on the manifold, mate. Show him the paint job. Oh, yeah, right. I'll bring it over here then. So, here we go. This uh, beautiful black painted um, exhaust thing so that the turbo can go suited to. So, um, yeah, just good paint job on it. Wonderful um, welding by Nicholas. Thanks, mate. Done a great job of that. Yeah. What are we doing now, Nicholas? Just cutting this pipe a little bit shorter. She's a bit long, so we're gonna shorten her up and uh, she'll be good to go. So as you can see here, we've got the turbo on. Intake is all done. So um, now, oh, well, actually, in here we've got the uh, lovely manifold that I made, painted by Geordie, and I've bolted it up to the turbo. Sits in all right, could be better, but is what it is. Oh, it is what it is. It is what it is. Oh, that's right, the, the shed with the AU. We've got the uh, exhaust here for the back of the turbo. We're gonna cut it down to uh, bolt up there and then have to cut a hole in the bonnet. Um, some jumper leads to extend the battery because we're going to put that in the back seat. And some other bits and pieces, so I'll get working on this exhaust. Right, oh, so I've just got the uh, exhaust cut down a little bit and welded on this little collar here. Um, and that's going to go into a clamp that clamps onto the turbo. Now we're going to put the rain cap on the top there, and then we're gonna have to mark out a hole in the bonnet where it's gonna stick out. So I'll get on with that and update years later. So we uh, got the exhaust in. What do you reckon the exhaust? Good. Ready for a uh, start up? Hell oh, yeah. Finally.